my name is Josh. I'm an engineering graduate and a tree planter, and I'm terrified for the future. This right here is a spruce seedling planted today. And what I'm sitting in right now is a cut block that was reforested that will one day be a forest I mean, again. Definitely get pretty, pretty dusty. I've had a few seasons in the bush. I'm hoping to plant my half millionth tree soon, but this year's been different. It's been different because in April, in BC, we saw a different wildfire pop up around us every single day. In May, we moved to Saskatchewan, and we saw three different provinces shrouded in smoke from wildfires. In June, we planted in Saskatchewan in 35 degree weather under a heat dome that engulfed half the country, risking working ourselves to the brink of heat exhaustion. Now it's July, and today's a little clearer than it has been in the past, but you can still taste the smoke in the air from the wildfires that exist in Northern Alberta to our west and to our south. Because of climate change, summers these days are hotter and drier on average than uh, summers a decade ago. One, one this, combined with unsustainable forestry practices, has made wildfires become worse and worse point. every year. Uh, this is especially obvious this year, where wildfires have engulfed uh, down the road, Canada from BC all line. the way to Ontario. This is caused by climate change. Climate change threatens the lives uh, three, and livelihoods one, one, of myself, eight, my November, co-workers, and all Canadians. We need solutions. We need solutions now. Not in five years, not in 10 years, not in 20 years. Because the consequences we're facing today are the results of emissions emitted decades ago. Right now, we are headed full steam ahead towards climate catastrophe.